let's go ahead and work out this optimization problem. So suppose that you have 1200 centimeter square of material is available to make a box with a square base and an open top. So square base and open top, these are important information. And we want to optimize the volume. How large should the volume be to make this box? All right, so um, open top, that means we don't need to consider the top. So this is open and the bottom is a squared. So square meaning the length and the width are equal. So my drawing doesn't seem like they're equal, but let's suppose they are. So the length and the width, they're X, let's call them X. And then the height, let's call it H. So, well, what is the area of this figure? Well, since we're looking at different surfaces, we're gonna call it a surface area. So the surface area, well, let's consider, we have the bottom, bottom is a square, so you're only looking at this. So the bottom, you have just x times x, which is x squared, length times width. Plus now the sides, so you have one in the front, one in the back, so that's one, and then two, and then the, the sides left and right. Uh, it's hard to label it here, but hopefully you can imagine that you have four sides, left and right, um, uh, front and back. So there are four sides, four, and they all have same dimension. So if we just focus on probably this one right here, let's say the right side of this box. So the length is X and the height is H. So that's X times H. And then if you focus on another um, surface, let's call it this one right here. That's the left side of this box. Again, the length is X and the height is H. So that's another one. And then the front, again, X times H, and then the back X times H. So we can say that there are four sides. So front, back, left, right. So that's the surface area of this figure. And we know that there is a 1200 square centimeter. So surface area is 1200 is equal to X squared plus four X H. So we're gonna use, save this equation for later, but what do we wanna do? We want to find the largest volume possible. So we know volume of this cube, let's call it that, is length times width times height. Now, because the base is a square, the length and width are X. So that's X times X times height, which is really X squared times H. Now here, you don't wanna take the derivative of this function yet because of H. So you wanna find somehow to relate the equation above with H. And we see that we can, find, we can find H by simply isolating H by using this equation. So this equation is sometimes called helping equation. So you can um, call it a helping equation or a constraint equation that helps you to optimize or minimize something. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract X squared from both sides. So I have 1200 minus X squared is equal to 4XH. And then I divide by 4XH on both sides to solve 4H. So that gives me H is equal to, so 1200 divided by 4X and then minus X squared over 4X. So that's what H is. And now I can simply take this and plug it in here. Then I can take the derivative. So I use my helping equation with my objective equation. So this is known as the objective. You can think about it that way. So let's go ahead and plug them in. So we have volume is equal to X squared times H. Well, that is 1200 over 4X minus X squared over 4X. And you wanna simplify the numbers before uh, differentiating. It's always easier to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify 1200 over 4x. So I have x squared times. So 1200 over 4, that's about 300 over x. And minus x squared over 4x is just x over 4. And now I can distribute this and then differentiate. So this is 300x minus, and then uh, x cubed over 4. And now I can take the derivative of this. So this is the volume function of X. Now let's take its derivative, be prime of X. So derivative of 300 X, that's 300 
and then derivative of x cubed, that's going to be uh, 3 fourth x squared. And then we set it to 0, find its critical numbers. So if we set it to 0, we have moved the negative term to the right side. So you have 300 is equal to 3 fourth x squared. Then we can multiply both sides by uh, 4 and then divide by 3. So that's 4 times 300 divided by 3 is equal to x squared. And that's going to give us 1,200 divided by 3. So that's 1,200 divided by 3 is equal to x squared. And we know this is equal to 400. And then to solve for x, finally, we take a square root on both sides. And we only take the positive square root because negative dimension wouldn't make any sense. Square root of 400, that is going to be 20. So we know x is equal to 20. Now, will this give us the largest volume? Well, let's check. So we check the second derivative. So here's the first derivative. Now let's take its second derivative. So the second derivative, it's going to be uh, 3 fourth times 2x negative. And that's going to be negative um, 3 over 2x. So if you um, test its concavity, this function is always concave down, which means this critical number will give us the maximum volume. So that's good. So that's a side note for us to verify that this will give us the maximum largest value possible. All right, so I know the one of one of the dimension x is 20. Now what is h? Well, we know that the height has to be um, um, that formula right here. So we simply plug in x in there. So we know the height has to be. So if x is that, then the height is equal to uh, 1200 minus x squared over 4x. So plug in 20 for x. So you have 1200 minus 20 squared over 4 times 20. And that's going to give you about 1200 minus. 400 over 80, and that is equal to uh, 10. So we know that uh, x has to be 20 centimeter, and the height has to be 10 centimeter. So the largest volume, it's going to be v equals length times width times height. So we know those are x squared from before and times height. So this is going to be x squared, that's 20 squared, times the height, that's 10. So that's 400 times 10, which is equal to 4,000 centimeter cubic. So that's the largest volume possible.